Yes. Hi, Julie. One of the biggest questions I've been getting at the Avid Vendor Palooza show at Gillette Stadium today has been why do key digital matrix switchers work and everybody else's are hit or miss? And one of the reasons is because we build on a brand new advanced digital architecture. For a lot of the other products that are out in the marketplace, the architecture is still an old analog architecture and trying to make it work with digital. With Key Digital, we've made our architecture digital, as it is in our name, and they work amazingly, especially with today's HDMI products. I'm going to show you an application real quick of some of the digital switchers that are out there. And if you look at a matrix switcher, it's really a matrix switcher that has a distribution amp and a switcher all in one box. And what we've realized is that it's not just the software that's built in these boxes that help HDMI really get to where they, where they need to be to be able to give you a proven and solid technology solution. So within our system, besides having audio, video, and control, we also take the three main aspects of HDMI, which are HDCP, EDID control, and a digital matrix, which is our TMDS matrix and buffer. And since we take care of those and really make sure that they perform at their best, we don't have any delays with switching where our switching time is two seconds or less. We're able to provide the best HDMI connection on the market. And just showing the old school versus the new school and the digital way, which this is a technology designed by Key Digital only for Key Digital. So we'll show today real quick the 4x4. And on the 4x4, it's actually a card based system. And here you'll have your four input cards and your four output cards. And each of the cards and the connections are actually independent from one another. So besides having that HDCP, EDID, and TMDS matrix built into it, there's an HDMI switcher, a control switcher, a Cat5 switcher, and your choice of analog or digital audio switching controls. Now with those controls, they all can be actually used independent from one another. So you can come in HDMI and input one, and on output number four on this eight slot system, you can go out HDMI and simultaneously go out Cat5 as well, which I'll show you right here. There's a nice little application showing how that works. You can also take audio from other inputs as well. So if you happen to be watching in your family room the Squawk Box, but you don't want to listen to the Squawk Box and you would like to listen to your iPod dock, you can actually have audio coming from your iPod dock, video coming from your satellite box, and have it all go out HDMI from any of the outputs that you'd like to choose. Another big solution that we've, uh, big problem that we've solved with HDMI is the key issue, where if you have a source that only has one key, because the older technology relies so much on the older architecture, where just software is responsible for taking control of the communication and all the information going through, we have a high level of hardware and software built into it where if you have a product like an Apple TV and you'd like to share it in all the rooms in the house, you can take that one source and be able to show it on all the displays legally and without any HDMI problems whatsoever. So thanks for coming to check out Key Digital at the Avenda Blues.